Welcome guys, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about blending colors. Now, we talked before in this video where we did this simple three color blend, and in that video, we're pretty much talking about how to blend those colors, how to put the needles in the skin, things like that. But in this video, we wanna go a little further, and we wanna see how these three colors can easily be blended in a tattoo. So, let's get to that. Okay, here starting off, I'm just starting off with some red ink and I'm going to all those spots where I want the red. Now when it comes to tattooing color, it's such a mess, but the biggest thing here is not to try to over blend things. Now again, we're sticking with that simple red, orange, yellow, and I throw a little purple in there as well, but that red, orange, yellow we're used to. Here I'm starting with my darkest color, almost my darkest color. I will use purple later, but that is just a small bit at the end. So I'm starting with the red and I'm putting the red in exactly where I want the red. Wherever I want it, that's where I'm putting it in. I'm also using the CNC Q2 for this tattoo. I'm using an 11 curved bug pin quadrant needle and I'm running around eight volts. Color can be such a pain in the butt sometimes to keep clean. So let's talk about ways how I keep my area clean just by using some simple distilled water on a towel. So I get this question a lot. How do you keep it from being messy? Here you can see I take a paper towel, I fold it in half, some distilled water, get it kind of wet on one side, then I fold it in half again, rub it together, let that water kind of get to each part of the paper towel. Then at this point you can use it however you want it. If you want to open it all the way up, wipe till it gets dirty, fold it in half, fold it again, or the opposite. And again, we're using distilled water here guys. So let's get back at it. Here I have some orange loaded up in my machine now. I'm using it just to go right next to the red. Again, I'm thinking of the whole image here. I know I want to have a red, orange, and a yellow gradation, and I'm not trying to overdo it. I just leave space in there for all three colors. Again, here I'm going with that orange and just putting it right next to the red. Blending it just a little bit, just letting a little bit of that orange kind of work around and blend with the red, but I'm not overdoing it, keeping it very simple. Now, if you were to take four different versions of red and think that you're gonna go from a dark red to a really light red, um, you ho better hope you have quite a bit of area because those are not going to be super visible in the skin as a really smooth or as a gradation. Sure, it will look really smooth, but you need the space to do that. Here in such a small area, I didn't want to overdo it, so again, I just put a little red, a little orange, and then next we're going to be hitting this up with some yellow, and you'll see as we go along how that process works. Now again, I'm using the side of this mag. You'll see this a lot, as I like to have a bit of versatility in my needles. So I like them a little wider than I need them, so I can just kind of use the sides, play with it, again, like a paintbrush is really how you can treat it. And again, here, we're doing the same thing. I'm leaving a little bit of room for that yellow. And I hope here you can see how I'm stretching. I'm using the paper towel with a firm grip, pushing down on it pulling the skin so that when I wipe and come down, I'm pulling down, giving me just enough tension that I need to make sure that the color is well saturated. Okay, so as you can see here, I have that yellow I was referring to. Now all I'm doing again is running that mag on its side, being pretty careful. I'm not dropping all the needles in there, just the needles on the edges, pretty much what I need to get that color in there. Now this is primarily red and orange, so I don't need a lot of yellow, but you can see I've left just a little space down there below just to pack a little bit of yellow in there. And I think it's going to make a big difference in the overall appearance of the tattoo. And I carry the same three simple color scheme throughout the entire tattoo while adding a little bit of purple here and there. And of course, the client wanted the main center of the Phoenix to be black and gray, essentially. So I thought that purple might help 
blend that black and gray a little bit into the rest of the color on the tattoo. And over here on the other side, I got footage of that. You can see after it's all said and done and I have the three colors blended, I go back through with that purple and nail in some purple. And I think that really helps change things. And here we go again, I'm pumping in that orange. This time I start with the orange because in the, in the tail or whatever you want to call it, it's primarily orange in my mind with pops of red, pops of yellow and a little bit of purple. But with orange being the primary color, I start with that. And again, I know exactly where I want to put this orange or at least I have a general idea. So while a tattoo is going through, it might not make a lot of sense, maybe to the client or whatnot, maybe somebody watching, but you know where you want to put that color and just put the color exactly there and keep in mind what else is going to be around it. You don't need to blend that color all over and then blend another color all over it where you want it. Just leave areas. You'd be surprised how well they can kind of blend together on their own, just being that, well, they go together quite well. And again, we're just manipulating that mag, running it on its side very carefully, very smoothly to just get a little line of yellow here and there. And then once it's all said and done and I've got the red, the orange and the yellow all in there, I just find little spots to pop in some purple to keep that purple running throughout here and there within the Phoenix. One thing to keep in mind is I didn't necessarily leave room for purple, but being that it's quite a bit darker than the other tones, I knew that I could merely put it where I needed it almost on top of some of the other colors and it would still come through just the way I wanted it. And again, just take your time when you're packing color. Don't overthink it. Put the color where you know it needs to go. Put the next color next to that and you'd be surprised if done correctly, they'll, they'll blend on their own in a lot of ways. Again, try not to overthink it. Try not to overwork things. Just take your time. It's a messy process, but tattooing is. And when it comes to color, that's just part of the territory. It, it's going to be a little bit messy. But like I said, keep working at it. Over time, it will get a little bit easier. But nonetheless, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that maybe now you can see how easy it is to just to just put colors next to each other that go together and watch them blend together. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell to get notifications when we post, go live, or anything like that. Until next time, guys. Peace.